Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, here is my grandfather's plane. It's been sat in the drawer of my workshop for a few years now and it's in an unusable condition so I really want to get it working and using it. I would just like to apologise in advance for some of the camera angles. Um, I had limited time to film this uh, from when I was finishing work on the evening and I had to get it done quickly before the light went outside. But it still gives you a general idea of what I did. First thing was the handle was really loose so uh, I think I just need to tighten it. Um, I then set about disassembling the whole thing which was quite a really easy process to be honest. Everything came apart really well, really easy. Um, just full of years and years of dirt and grime and sawdust really. As you can see the back handle has quite a nice standy water slide on there um, and I'll, I'll try and keep that on there. So I just put down some double sided uh, stick tape and then uh, removed the backing tape from it and uh, secured down some 80 grit sandpaper. And using a sharpie pen I marked up the bottom of the shoe so that when I start rubbing it down on the sandpaper I can see if there, where the high spots are or the low spots on the shoe. So this is after about a minute of rubbing you can see that some of it's gone but the majority of it is still there. So I went at warp speed rubbing it all back down again. And this is what I was finished with. You can see there's this little mark in the middle. When I cleaned it out, it actually doesn't look quite as bad as it is there, but it won't have any effect on the um, quality of the plane. The sides are also quite rusty um, as well, so I wanted to give them a good rub down. Whilst I was rubbing them down, um, I discovered that they were uh, quite a bit sort of abused and pitted. So you'll see later on in the video I did something about that. Put all the parts in some uh, soapy water solution, um, just washing that liquid, and I let them soak for about 10 minutes before I came back and gave them all a really good scrubbing and going over. Uh, this brush is something I use on one of my motorbikes, um, it's quite good for getting in all the little nooks and crannies, but there was quite a bit of grunge and dirt on this, so. Uh, it worked well to give it a good clean up. The chip breaker though didn't clean up too well so I got some wet and dry paper on it and give it a good rub down and as you'll see in a minute it came up really well actually so it's worth doing. Then with the shoe I give it a really good blow out to get everything, all the loose stuff off um, and then again went over it to save the water getting in every little nook and cranny possible just to, just to get really clean really. And then wiped over it with some paper towel just to make sure that everything was off of it so uh, it didn't make it uh, leave a, like a water rusty mark on it. And then finally um, I just blew it over again with the, with the airline just to make sure everything was gone. Now I masked up the bottom of the shoe um, because I actually decided to paint the sides. Um, so just using general masking tape I masked it up and using a sharp blade I just went round and cut the uh, excess off. So then using some uh, Hammerite black paint, uh, I went over and uh, just painted the sides. I gave it two coats and I left it virtually 24 hours before giving it the second coat. So this is with the second coat on, I was quite happy and I left it dry overnight. Next morning, went back out, or the next day rather, went back out 
and removed all the mask in and none of the paint has managed to sneak under the masking tape so I was quite happy. Now I know painting the sides of the plane is going to be quite a controversial point um, but I've done it because one it's to protect it because they were heavily rusted and pitted um, and two I don't intend to do any side shooting plane in um, so therefore I'm, I'm not fussed about painting the sides uh, it's only going to be used for smoothing out um, rough, real rough wood that maybe might contain the odd nail or something like that. Now for some reason I couldn't find my little bench top vise that you can screw to the bench. Uh, so I had to make my own little uh, vise up using some uh, clamps that I had. And then using this Dixley oversized scraper I set about removing all the uh, old varnish off of the handles. It worked well and I also did the back handle, but when I did the back handle I didn't do the very top of it because I wanted to keep that Stanley uh, water slide on that. So and after a good hand sanding this is what I uh, was left with. And then using this uh, varnish I've got from uh, b &Q, which um, really didn't want to open up, uh, but I've got a struggle with it, quite a fight as you can see. I did persevere and eventually I did win. So I gave it three, maybe four coats of varnish, I can't quite remember. Um, I did sand in between coats uh, because to give it a smoother uh, overall finish and it came out really nice actually. Now just before I move on to showing you how I sharpen the blade, um, would just like to say there's plenty of other better videos out there than what I could produce that show you how to sharpen a blade properly on a plane. Um, so I'll leave those links in the description below um, to the videos that I watched before I did this. The first time I've ever sharpened a blade, apart from when I was at school, which was 16 years ago. Um, so I didn't want to spend too much money on lots of equipment because I don't know how often I'm going to be doing this. So then using this Stanley sharpening tool that I recently purchased, I used the measuring gauge to set it to 30 degrees and then put some uh, oil on the grinding block and set about grinding the blade down. This grinding block has um, a fine side and a coarse side, so obviously I used the coarse side first and then refined it onto the fine side. Once it was sharp, I've done the uh, or did the paper cut test. It was quite hard to film actually um, when you're trying to lean over the camera and film it, but it, it passed uh, the test each time, so I knew the blade was sharp enough to use now. Now after washing everything, it, the original maroon paint was a bit dull, so I used this uh, beeswax just to, to bring the colour up really, so I give it a, a really good uh, going over of the wax and uh, I also did the, the frog as well and I came back about 10-15 minutes later and uh, just buffed it all off and uh, I was really quite happy how it, it came out in the end well as best you can with original paint anyway then it was just a matter of putting everything back together really um, started with the handles first and it just, it just went together really well really quickly Now there is a set procedure that you should really do when putting the plane back together. Um, I did think about uh, showing you, but again, I feel that there's other videos out there that cover, cover it in far better explanation than I will. So I'll leave the link to those videos also in the video description. So now the chip breaker was set against the blade, it was just a simple matter of uh, getting it to fit in against the frog. Which went in really easy actually. And now, playing back together, I'm ready for you then. Mm -hmm. 
So once I had the blade set up to what I thought was best, I used uh, a, uh, some scrap wood and I planed off on a bit on each corner of the blade to check the consistency between the two shavings. And when they were equal of width and consistency, uh, I knew the, the plane was finally set. So here's the finished plane. I'm really, really happy with the outcome of it. Um, everything looks newer. It's it, it's completely usable as you as you've seen in the video, and I will look forward to using this in a few videos. I don't know how old this plane is. At a guess, it's 50 years old, something like that. But for me, personally, for me, the fact that this was my Gramps' plane that he used for doing his woodwork tasks, and now I can use it for doing my woodworking jobs. It gives me great satisfaction, it's now usable and it's something that I'm going to be using for hopefully a long, long time. So thanks for taking the time to watch the video, please give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you didn't give it a thumbs down I would understand, um, but thanks for watching and if you're new to the channel new Stanley subscribe. Plane Sharpened Blade, I set it to 30 degrees as you can see on this measuring device that you get with it and then set